In this presentation, we're going to continue on from a previous presentation that I've done here. This is the previous presentation where I uh, have this matrix here, A, and what I was asked to do in the previous presentation is calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, So using the characteristic equation and so on, I was able to determine the eigenvalues. Those are the eigenvalues there, minus 3 and minus 1. And the eigenvectors, so 1 and minus 1, and then the other one was 1 and minus 2. And I was able to put them together into this uh, the eigenvalues and the eigenvector. I was able to constri uh, construct these matrices here. The first matrix here is P. And there we go. Sorry, I just was jammed up there and I went too fast. The first matrix I constructed was P. And it's a combined eigenvectors into a single matrix there, P. So it's 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 2. Okay, and it's very important, by the way, that um, the, the, this, this, the first eigenvector is this first column here, 1 and minus 1, and this was the eigenvector that corresponded to the eigenvalue minus 3, and this second one, 1 and minus 2, this, corresponds to the, this is the eigenvector that corresponds to the eigenvalue minus 1. Uh, so that's the matrix D, or P there. There's also a matrix D. Uh, which is based on the eigenvalues. Uh, there they are. There we have two eigenvalues: uh, one uh, or three minus three and minus one, and the off the diagonal elements are zeros. Okay. And what we're okay, so that's where we are at so far. Uh, I discussed these two identities here. Okay, they're uh, closely related to each other. We can just disregard that line there now. Uh, but essentially, so far so good. But essentially, this the point of this particular uh, uh, presentation is I want to compute something like this a to the power of n, okay? And how we would write that? I'll just do it very simply. I'll do a squared, okay? Okay. So that would be using this the identity I just have there at the top of the screen. That would be p times d times p minus one, okay? Times p times d times p minus 1. The p's and d's are not very clear there, so I'll just rewrite them there. d and p minus 1. Okay? So this is the a, and this is also a. Now, when we multiply that through, essentially what happens here is this p to the minus 1 and p cancel out. Okay? So a squared can be written as p times d. And then the next item is d as well, so d squared p to the minus 1. Okay. Now, let's suppose we were interested in a to the power of 4. And how we might calculate that is p times, square what we have there just above it, p d squared to the p minus 1. Okay. And what we might do there again is multiply it by a squared again. So it's p d squared p minus 1. And again, just like the last time, this p to the minus 1 and p cancel out. So what we're left with is p times d to the power of 4 times p to the minus 1. So in general, this is actually the point of what we're getting at here. a to the power of n can be written as p times d to the power of n times p minus 1. Okay? And this calculation is a diagonal matrix calculation. So this is actually quite easy. So how do we do that? So let's just do that one here. So lambda 1, lambda 2, let's just go stick with a 2 by 2 matrix here. Uh, if we were to square that, all we actually have to do is actually square the individual terms. Or, well, put it to the power of n. doesn't have to be squared. But I'm gonna, uh, let's put it to the power of n. That is uh, lambda 1 to the power of n, 0, 0, lambda 2 to the power of n. Okay, so you actually just have to square each term as just a like very simple arithmetic calculation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this example here that I done previously. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back here to this example here, and what I'm going to do is cal calculate a to the power of six. Okay, so we're going to do that. So let's start with a to the power of six, and that is p 
times d to the power of 6 times p minus 1. Okay. Now there's still got a bit of calculation, uh, pen and paper calculation in this. But let's just actually just quick remind ourselves what we're doing here. So let's just write out p. This was 1, 1, minus 1, minus 2. That was p. Okay. Now the eigenvalues were minus 3, uh, 0, 0, minus 1. Okay. And finally, 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 2 to the power of minus 1. Okay. Now, first off, there's a couple of jobs here. Oh, sorry, there's a bit missing. This is the power of 6. Okay. Now, there's a bit uh, we have to do here. So, what we have to do, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just concentrate on this bit first. So, what we're going to do there is have that as 1. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 to the power of 6 uh, is a bit of calculator work. I'm just going to pause at this here and just check it. So minus 3 to the power of 6 0 0 minus 1 to the power of 6 and so on and that's in brackets there. And uh, then we have this inverse matrix to, to sort of sort out the next stage. 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 2, minus 1. Okay, so essentially what I'm going to do here is just concentrate on these part here. Minus 3 to the power of 6 is 729. Okay. And minus 1 to the power of 6 is essentially just 1. And I'll just sort of fix up that 0 there. Okay. So, so far so good. Now what I'm going to do here is just get the inverse of that last matrix there. And how to get the inverse of a matrix like that is first off we get the determinant. Okay, so essentially we're working on this matrix here. And what we need is the determinant. So the determinant is equal to AD so that's 1 times minus 2 minus minus 1 times 1 so that's equal to minus 2 uh, plus 1 that's equal to minus 1 so the inverse of that matrix is minus 1 now what we have to do is uh, a little uh, operation for a 2 by 2 matrix the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix uh, I just did it out there. Uh, it is the determinant is minus one, so we just have to swap uh, D and A. So it's one over minus one. Let's go back here. So uh, we swap the uh, we swap the diagonal terms. These two here. So it's two minus two and one. And then we. Uh, put ne uh, negate the off diagonal terms these two here we uh, put minus signs in front of them so that is plus one and minus one okay now one divided by minus one essentially all we're going to do is negate everything again so just get rid of everything and we're going to put a plus sign here a plus sign here and minus signs below and that is our inverse. Okay, so let's just say uh, I'm just going to pause this for a second and put it all back together. So actually, I'll just put this in at the end. So two one minus one minus one. Here we have seven two nine zero zero and one. And here we have the matrix P, and that is 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 2. Now, essentially what we've got to do is just do a little bit of calculator work uh, here, uh, or not calculator work, but very straightforward uh, calculation, um, matrix multiplication. Uh, so what I'm going to do is multiply these first two terms here, or the first two matrices here. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm just actually going to put up the answers here. 
So I'm going to multiply these two first off, okay, such that I get the answer here is 7291 uh, minus 729 and minus 2. And we still have to multiply that by 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So I'm just going to do that very quickly and then just present the answer. And working that out, what we get is 1, 4, 5, 7, 728, uh, minus 1, 4, 5, 6, and minus 7, 2, 7. And that is a to the power of 5 there. Okay. Now you can check it with a, a long form or get one of the online calculators on the internet. But essentially that's the gist of it there. Now I just picked that 8 to the 5 just to sort of pick a really awkward looking number. But uh, essentially that's the answer we're looking for there. And that's it essentially. That's, and essentially a big part of this is these uh, calculations are very important. It, when you get it more detail into more detailed applications of linear algebra, so the ability to do these multiplications very very quickly, uh, or these power operations very very quickly, is very important. So that's the, pu the purpose of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So that's that.